Okay, as you can see, everything here is submerged. I did leave the shaver in out. It could probably be submerged, but it makes me nervous, so I always leave it out. All instruments, whether they're used or not, they come from the field, should always be clean. So this is the shaver. Those. You can get little bits of uh, tissue in there from the surgical direct does not condone in any way, shape, or form the reusing of striker shaver blades. These are fine, a lap sponge. Okay, uh, a kitchen sponge is going to be too uh, stiff. I can. Everything, everything is submerged. It's going to be pretty much the same exact thing with everything that I just did there. But yeah, I would say rinse it with distilled. So, yeah, that's typically with nothing they'll scrub with or tap water or rinse with the RO. So this camera, you want to make sure you get that lens. The ETO can leave a little film built up there that you won't notice after one or two times. But after five or six times, if you don't rinse it good. So you want to make sure you can get that with a sponge. As long as it's a nice soft one. And those gauze sponges aren't too abrasive? No. Okay. This, if you're going to put this in HO, it cannot be pill packed. So the shaver, you want to turn the suction on so that that's going to open everything. You want to put it right up there. You want to flush everything out. So this is the scope. Okay, this scope has little tiny rod lenses all throughout, so we really want to be real careful. Any, if you accidentally tap it, if you did that with the scope, you're going to damage the scope. So we want to be real careful on how we handle it. Just like with the lens on the camera, the ETO can leave a film build up on the lenses. So we want to carefully wash those. And this lens on the tip, we want to carefully just gently, we don't want to put any pressure on the actual scope itself, but we do want to make sure that lens gets good and clean. And this tray should always get a quick clean too.